Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Taco Bell is a gift from God to the people of Earth. What is up, Posy people? Frank here. You're watching the Super Posy Show. And today we have some pretty awesome movie news. Chief Creative Officer of DC, Jeff Johns, just confirmed via Twitter today that Joe Manganiello will be playing Deathstroke in the solo Batman movie. For those of you who don't know who Joe Manganiello is, he got his start on the show True Blood, where he played a werewolf. He was a pretty central character to the overarching storyline. You also might recognize him from Magic Mike. Um, he was in Magic Mike XXL. That movie was kind of ridiculous. But, all in all, I'm really excited for this casting because I think his appearance really fits the bill and I definitely believe he has the capability to pull off a deathstroke light personality so I'm really really excited to see how this movie goes and I'm definitely gonna go see it when it comes out no release date has been stated yet for this movie since it is pr still pretty far out but people are assuming it's probably gonna be at least another two years possibly more in other nudes Pyramid International released yesterday a ton of really awesome photos giving us a really in-depth look at Star Wars Rogue One. For those of you who aren't aware, they are making a Star Wars movie right now. It's coming out this December. It basically serves as some sort of intermediary chapter between Episodes 3 and Episodes 4. So if you're ever wondering how Princess Leia and the Rebel Spies got the Death Star plans, this movie explains just that. I personally am a huge Star Wars fan. I literally cannot put into words how much I love Star Wars, so this is really, really big news for me. I've actually got some pictures from the website to show you. Check out this one. Ooh. Or that one. Ah. I'll definitely post the pictures in the description down below so you can check out the full gallery at your Force-sensitive pleasure. Final bit of news today. Destiny just launched their pre-Rise of Iron update for the game today. You're actually able to see a lot of the changes as we transition from the Taken King into Rise of Iron. I personally love Destiny. Played it a whole, whole, whole lot once it came out. Fell off a little bit after the Taken King, but I am very, very excited to see what this new expansion brings and even more excited to see what the second generation of Destiny brings in Destiny 2, which will be coming to us pretty soon, I hope. One of my favorite things about this pre-expansion update is the new title screen and new music. It sounds absolutely gorgeous. It definitely reminds me of a very fantasy world kind of theme. Uh, some, some sort of cross between maybe like Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. Kind of a medieval theme which makes perfect sense because a lot of medieval and Norse imagery is really being pulled into the art direction for this new expansion which are time periods that I absolutely love as well which makes me even more excited for this expansion. So even if the gameplay absolutely sucks, which I hope it doesn't, then at least it'll look very, very beautiful. At least to me. I hope you guys are as excited about Destiny as I am. If you play Destiny, what are you most excited about with this new expansion? Feel free to leave your comments down below. Additionally, how do you feel about Joe Manganiello playing Deathstroke in the new solo Batman movie? Feel free to leave your opinions on that down below as well. That's all the news I have for you guys. Thank you so much. My name is Frank, and definitely eat more Taco Bell. Mm. That's good. Stay posy, guys. Bye.